Sagittarius, this is your birthday bonus. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This is very specific. This is about a spouse. So this isn't about you. It's when it came out, I mean, it could be you could be the spouse, but I feel like this is about your spouse is what I feel. So unemployment came out. Also, um, someone's playing music. So if you hear that in the background, it is what it is. So unemployment came out. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So then spending came out. I was like, okay. Then receipts came out. Hold it this way. And then responsibilities. So for the spouse that is not at their job anymore, the finances will really have to be micromanaged. Like everything will have to be looked at with a fine tooth comb because this spouse is more than likely a shopping addict. This is for my clarification deck. That's what showed up at the bottom was shopping addict. And yeah, they can buy things after they get a job again. Right now, they don't have a job. Um, more than likely, they don't have a job is because um, it was toxic because toxic job came out. And again, these two came out together. Unemployed spouse and toxic job. Don't forget, this is the clarification deck. So we have unemployment over here. They came out in a different deck. And then we have unemployed spouse and toxic job. So whatever was going on, if the spouse is not working more than likely because there was something going on at the job. They decided to quit. Maybe they didn't even give notice. And now they're, they're looking for a job. They are still spending, though, like they have a job, maybe because they feel like you have it like that, Sagittarius, where it's like, oh, well, Sagittarius makes enough money for both of us. I can still spend the way I want to spend. And for you, it's just kind of like, OK, well, yeah, you can still buy things, but let's be mindful here. There's only one income coming in right now versus two. So, again, there might have to be some micromanaging going on and definitely before keeping track of receipts and spending and letting that person know there's still responsibilities that need to be taken care of. Now, two of the cards that came out is unexpected money. So you have some unexpected money coming in and then stable. So you have stability. This unexpected money will help you out. However, something is telling me with this unexpected money, if Okay, let me say it like this. If you're the one that gets the unexpected money, I'm not saying don't tell your spouse. I'm just saying you don't have to broadcast it. You know, if you're the one that gets the unexpected money, if there is a way that you can keep it to yourself, then by all means, if you're one of those people where you feel like, okay, you need to tell them everything, that's fine, too, because I do believe in transparency. However, if you decide to make this unex unexpected money known to your spouse, you need to be very direct to say, we're not spending this. You need to put your foot down and be like, we're not touching this. This is our nest egg. And still put that emphasis on, OK, you need to cut down on your spending until you get a job. And, and doing that. But overall, you will be stable. So you will be stable overall. And honestly, that's what I got for your bonus. Until next time, Sagittarius, be blessed.